Matt, aren't I? The workplace guy. I'm here with our friends D&G Office Interiors to give you a how to set up your office chair. So here we have the Cedus Black Dot Air and it's a premium ergonomic office chair. However, the two most essential parts you need to any office chair are the base and the backrest. Let's start with the base. To get the base comfortable, you need to get it to the right height. So you adjust it so that you can function at the desk. You also want to aim for about 90 degrees at the hips and 90 degrees at the knees. And to avoid pinching, you want to get a hand width behind your knees and the base. Secondly, the backrest. You need it to be comfortable yet supportive. Everything else is an added bonus. Ever wonder what this is? Well, it's the torsion control and you adjust it to increase and decrease the tension in your backrest. The heavier you are, the more tension you need and vice versa. However, there's no rule to that, so it's all down to personal preference. Then we have the lumbar support. It's there to aid the natural curvature of your lower back. But everyone's made differently, so you're gonna need to adjust this to suit you. You're looking to get the curve of the chair to mirror your lumbar lordosis, or the curve of your lower back. But every chair is different. This one has a slider, others have pumps, and you may have to adjust the whole of the backrest. Most office chairs have armrests. They're there to support your arms and take the tension off your shoulders. There are some office chairs that are fully adjustable, like this one, to fit you. They go up, down, in, out, forwards, backwards, and some even pivot. To get the most out of your armrests, let your arms drop to the side naturally. Make the necessary adjustments to take up and support this comfortable position. We ideally want to have the armrest as a continuation of your desktop. So a massive thank you to our friends D&G for letting us use their space and their chair. All the links will be in the description below. I really hope you found this video helpful and I'd love to hear how you got on. So give us a like, ring that bell, subscribe for future content, and I'll see you in the next video.